Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another Solana price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that I have here on the Solana chart starting my analysis on the daily chart and before I kick start the video make sure that you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to kick start the video here on the daily chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that Solana from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upside making it to an all time high at around the $263.7 mark in what I'm terming as a higher area to have contour to the upside and after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we have been seeing our prices in this ABC corrective structure which has now taken us back to around the $8 mark in what I'm terming as a higher area to have contour to the lower side and after seeing the formation of a higher area to have contour whatever we expect next is an impulsive movement to the upside in the formation of a higher area to have contour to the upside where I'm I'm also expecting to see fractal waves in formation within that higher edge of wave con 3 to the upside having the wave 5 of the fractal wave completing the formation of that higher edge of wave con 3 to the upside and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 using a trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave down there to the high of the wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 428.68 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting Solana to do on the long term scenario scenarios and once we get back into the bull market that is the minimum that I'm expecting Solana to do and jumping to the one hour chart for further analysis where we have the latest developments and also a movement that has been obeying the area of structures here on the one hour chart you can see that down here this is where we made our low in the formation of that higher area of count to at around the eight dollar mark and after seeing that low we have been seeing a very nice recovery to the upside which has been obeying the area of structures where we can have that as the first wave to the upside then a wave two then we have seen the formation of that wave three then i'm expecting a wave four before we continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave five to complete a higher area to have count one to the upside and getting to see whether this wave three has done the minimum that we expect a wave three to the upside to do by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave down there to the high of the wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 which is a target area that we have fully maximized even managed to break above it and made a high at around the 14.33 dollar mark and after making that high i believe that is the high for this higher edit wave con 3 and now my primary scenario is that we're in the formation of this wave 4 to the lower side and sketching out a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of this wave 4 using the trend based uh, using the fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the second wave to the high of that with three that gives me a minimum retracement area in the formation of this wave 4 between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0.618 and i can mark that target area here on the charts which perfectly lies between the 11.62 dollar mark and the 11.01 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting this wave 4 to the lower side to do and because a wave 4 is a corrective wave i'm also expecting to see an abc corrective structure having the wave c fully maximizing the formation of this wave 4 to the lower side and once that happens then we can expect another five wave structure to the upside in the formation of that higher edge of wave count five to the upside which should fully maximize the formation of this higher edge of wave count one to the upside so that is my short term and the long term scenario that i'm expecting to play out here on the solana chart and also taking a look at the indicators here on the rsi we are trading at around the 47 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the lower side also taking a look at the macd we have printed a bearish cross and we we're also seeing an increase in the sending momentum so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated 